representatives come in. I have many representatives. They go out, meet with small businesses, um, and talk to them about the options that are available and do enrollments right there on site. And you know what? The employees appreciate the option that the employer let them come in and, and find out about them. And, uh, you know, that's a nice option for them. You are listening to Tower Talk Business Radio on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm Danisha Boston-Hill, along with Ray Schwetz, and our guest today is Lori Ravenick, Director of Marketing for Fidelis Care New York. Okay, so maybe you didn't finish or broke your New Year's resolution to get to the gym or start that project you had kept on the back burner since, well, okay, the dawn of time. I get it. That's okay. But you know, there's one thing you can do to get back that inspiration, that can-do spirit. Perhaps you or someone you know has a vehicle that they don't drive anymore. Why not consider donating it to the National Federation of the Blind? All you have to do is call 866-282-7327. That's 866-282-7327. You can also log online to nfb.org and click donate. And maybe you know someone that's blind. You can reach out to NFB at nfb.org. That's nfb at nfb.org. So what do you have to lose? You have everything to gain by helping someone in need, like your motivation. Oh, and a tax deduction. So why not get started today? And remember, charity is only a phone call away. And welcome back to Tower Talk Business Radio, powered by the Nassau Community College Foundation on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm Danisha Boston-Hill, along with Ray Schwetz, and our guest today is Lori Ravenick, the Director of Marketing for Fidelis Care New York. Now, Lori, you, you have a host of different, you know, plans and coverage. Can you share with us, you know, some, you know, coverage that... Uh, a family or um, may be interested in some of the types of benefits you provide? Sure. Well, the coverage uh, that you're able to get is really determined on the income level of family and the number of family members. So, um, you know, we use that Affordable Care Advisor to, you know, put an answer just a couple questions. And then if you qualify for a plan, we would then uh, work with New York State, a health marketplace. So this is the, at least in New York State, you know, you hear about Obamacare. You hear about going and getting a metal plan. In New York State, we have something called New York State of Health. It's the marketplace where you go and find a health plan. And we have options um, on that program. And for many families, they may want to put their you know, their kids in a, a program like Child Health Plus. And Child Health Plus is a plan. It's a great plan for people that have kids age uh, from birth through age 19. Uh, you can go on to that plan regardless of your income. In fact, we have many business owners, even providers and doctors that are Fidelis providers that put their own kids on the program. Um, the plan is great because uh, the, the fee to have that program per month is on a sliding scale, anywhere from zero to uh, full pay, which is uh, you know mm-hmm. around two hundred dollars a month per child. But once the child is on the plan, everything's covered. And what I mean is that you have no deductible. So from the first time you go to the doctor, you're covered. There's no co-payments when kids go to get services. And even things like eyeglasses and dental care are part of the plan. So where else can you go and get a plan for your kids where everything is covered? It's such a great benefit. So um, I like to say that to uh, business people also because, you know, may, even if an employer wants to cover just their employee, you know, most of those employees have families at home and we have great options options to get the kids and the rest of the family covered too. That's fantastic. So we see the Fidelis Care van, you know, all over the community. Mm-hmm. What are some of the types of activities or events you participate in? Yeah, we have out? a lot of vans, so it's not just one van that really <laughs> drives fast, but we have a lot of vehicles. We have, um, you know, we have large community offices on wheels where we go into communities and people can actually meet with a representative and go and do an enrollment right there. But we have also smaller sort of 
pop up um, vans that we do little events from. So uh, we in the summertime, and now that it's getting warm, you'll see us out at community fairs. You'll see us out at colleges, schools, uh, camp, and uh, you know places where people go to um, congregate with families. You know we do a lot with uh, soccer clubs out in Long Island, and while the parents are watching the kids play soccer, you know we're enrolling the family into Fidelis Care. So we really try and bring a, a fun community focus to just get the word out. And, you know, in many communities where there are, um, they are multicultural, you know, um, sometimes there's a fear of going out and getting information. But I can tell you that anybody, regardless of their um, status, can get their kids enrolled in SHIP. And you do need to have, you know, shots and immunizations and care for when the kids go to school. So anybody can put their kids on to CHIP, with Child Health Plus, I'm sorry. Now, um, how do you find, because a lot of what you're doing is all relationship-based, because, you know, to do grassroots, you really need to be in the community, and, and obviously Fidelis is in the community. How do you get the people that you have, and, and how do you build that trust? As far as consumers? Um, no, as far as getting people who actually represent felt, um, uh, who actually represent Fidelis uh, oh. out in the market. Um, oh, you know, okay. it's got to be tough. Is, is there a, a lot of training that's involved? What's what's involved with that? Yeah, you know, we um, we like to hire from the communities. I mean, I was it's funny because I was meeting with the president of the college, and I said, mm-hmm. we are always looking for fresh talent. And, you know, I, um, I love to hire kids out of school that are looking for an opportunity that really have that charitable. Um, you know, social services type, um, you know, in desire. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have people of all ages that work at Fidelis because we service people of all ages and all nationalities as well. And you'd be surprised. We have hired people that we have um, enrolled through Fidelis and they felt so wonderful about the care that they received in the program that they've asked if they can work with us. So we want to, we're always looking for top talent. Well, what better way than to look in the communities that you serve? That's right. You are listening to Tara Talk Business Radio on the voice of NASA Community College, 90.3 WHPC. My name is Ray Schwetz, along with Denisha Boston-Hill, and our guest today is Lori Vavernick. She is the Director of Marketing at Fidelis Care New York. So where uh, you mentioned the different places that we find representatives. We, we talked a little bit about some of the events that you do. Um, what other ways do you connect with the business owners? Are you involved with networking? or? Yeah, actually we belong. We have a lot, Some of our representatives and the managers at Fidelis, we belong to a number of chambers of commerce, and especially mm-hmm. in the fall, open enrollment time for New York State of Health, which, and what that means is it's the one time of year where the plans open up enrollment. Right. On many of the plans it's just a season that you can come on and enroll so that usually goes november 1st to december 31st it's 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 changing but during that time we do a lot of presentations out to different chambers of commerce we work with a lot of people in the community uh political leaders they'll have us they'll host uh something uh a community event for us to come and talk about getting kids covered um you know obviously we do a radio uh, TV shows just to really get the word out about the good work that we do. Now, Lori, uh, there's a lot of uh, you know, business owners and our listeners who are really trying to figure out, you know, how do I move forward with, with health care? And you've given a lot of great advice today. Are there any top three tips if someone's looking to mm-hmm. find health care or evaluating different plans that you would give someone? Well, I think that the first thing you have to decide as a business owner is whether or not you know you are looking to subsidize part of it. What I mean by that is do you want to pay for some of it or you really uh, want to sort of have a hands-off approach and just help your employees in finding resources. If you're interested in the sponsoring or paying for part of it, you can go to NewYorkStateOfHealth.org and you can look at shop plans. Shop plans are for small businesses under 100 people there where the employer uh, wants to um, usually fund part of it and the employee may pay for the rest of it through a payroll deduction that you, you, know, you, know, you take out of their check every week and there are options for that. If you're interested in just uh, 
having your employees have an option. You know, it's funny. We have relationships with some of the large supermarket groups privately owned here in Long Island. We work with, uh, you know, the Catholic schools in Long Island. All those people have part-timers that need coverage. Yeah. We are the plan of choice for them. So uh, if you're interested, you can call one eight 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 fidelis and you, uh, or I'll leave my information here at the station, and we'd be happy to have someone come out and meet with you and talk about what options are there. So really the first step is just um, deciding which way you want to go and make the commitment. And then our, you know, some, a representative from Fidel will talk to you about what's available. We usually are trying to come on site at a time that's convenient to meet with the employees. Um, we do everything electronically so we can help the employee see the plan that they're eligible for, the doctors, the dentists, the providers in their area do the enrollment so it's really one-stop shopping now for those people in the audience with add I, i'm one of them um <laughs> so if there was one thing that you wanted to make sure you left our listeners with today what would that one thing be um i would say take a look at what's out there there's no reason f- to walk around without insurance because there's a health plan for everybody it's easy to get it's much more affordable than you think and what's the best way that our listeners can find you? Uh, there's two ways. There's, our phone number is one eight 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 Fidelis F I D E L I S, or you can go to our website. It's www.fideliscare.org, or you can visit one of our community offices. And we have uh, representatives on site that'll happy to meet with you. We have an office on Post Avenue in Westbury, Fifth Avenue, Bay Shore, and East Main Street in Patchogue. Now, are those offices also open to um, employee opportunities or providing careers um, for some of our listeners? Um, if a person is interested in applying to Fidelis, you should go to our FidelisCare.org website. Um, we have so many opportunities. You know, Fidelis is the fastest growing healthcare company. And just the time since I've been at Fidelis, our, and, and we're statewide, but um, our employee base, uh, when I started, is about 1,200 people. We're up to about 4,500 people. So mm-hmm. while many companies companies are downsizing fidelis is growing so we need people in many different positions uh to service the needs of our members and you're in 62 counties in new york state we sure are so do you also i mean (laughs) does fidelis offer health insurance to their own employees well since we're an individual plan we don't get fidelis care we get a group sponsored plan um but i can tell you fidelis is a fantastic company to work for and we have um wonderful benefits so I'm very happy. Even though it's not Fidelis Care, we have a very rich plan, and they, they're they very good to employees. And you know what I like? That while many companies uh, are downsizing, and I've certainly been a victim of downsizing in my long career, Fidelis is growing, and it's exciting to be part of something that's growing and uh, helping people every day. Well, you heard it here. That's awesome. Lori, uh, you've been fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Very informative, very helpful. And just one last time for our listeners, uh, what's the website and phone number? Sure. It's www.fideliscare.org, and our phone number is 1-888-FIDELIS. I'd like to leave you with what I call DB's philosophy. He who has health care has hope, and he who has hope has everything. Much better than my joke. Thank you, DP. <laughs> You've redeemed us. We want to thank you for being with us. My name is Ray Schwetz, along with Denisha Boston Hill, your co host and producers. The director of Tarot Talk Business Radio is Rudy Breedy. This is an NCC Foundation Business Leaders production. Visit ncc.edu slash WHPC for more information. Available on iHeartRadio as a pod- podcast on iTunes, Android Podcasts, and Spreaker. This has been Tarot Talk Business Radio, powered by the Nash Community College Foundation. On the voice of Nash Community College, 90. 90- Point three WHPC. We'll talk with you next week.